picking up where we left off. Dark Brotherhood, gotta kill the gourmet. All the good, all the good stuff. Need something? Stop right there. Tower is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet? I... I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. I'm, you're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. I mean, yeah, I don't look like I'm ready to make a dish another delivery I told you people our stocks are f the gourmet oh finally when I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor I could hardly believe it it's just I guess right I always imagined the great gourmet was a wood elf you see only someone with the knowledge of woodland herbs could combine oh well huh. actually you're not wearing a chef's hat I mean there's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Oh, just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? Ah, of course. I suspected as much. Really? Oh, I use Ninroot as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Okay, now what? Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. 
There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting... I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Ma we should start over, hmm? We want the gourmet's famous potage le magnifique to be perfect, after all. So what is the first special ingredient? Emperor's gonna love it. How can he not? Hey Clover, how are you? I'm good. <sighs> Alright, Jana. Go ahead. You just stand there and be amazing. Son of your commander, plotting your assassination. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man alone. This is such an honor. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. Do I stream other games? I do. Um, I've just been focusing recently on Skyrim, but yes, I do stream other games. I did the Mortuary Assistant, and I did uh, uh -huh. Maid of Scar. And I have other videos of I have videos of those posted on my um, site. So delicious, my friends. As emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... He did. By the gods, the gourmet and the chef have poisoned the emperor! Get them! What? No. No, you don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake. I... That man was by far the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead, but I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood. No, he does. On the life. He does. Um, he's just busy and he does other things, but he definitely drops in on my stream Surprised. a lot. So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill her. And make sure there's nothing left to bury. Never should have come here. Yeah. We're out. Pull back. Oh. 
No, no, this is not my full-time gig. I'm a pediatric nurse. I work full-time as a pediatric nurse, and my husband um, is a programmer. I just do this on the side for fun. Um, yeah, no. Um, no, but he's really supportive. Uh, like I said, I just do it for fun. Like, if something comes of it, cool, but um, I just do it for fun. Um... Yeah, he's um, always been super supportive, so. Um, and he he games with, like, our friends and stuff like that as well, so, like, um, but yeah, he jumps on multiple, when I'm streaming, he'll jump on him multiple times and just um, watch and see how it's going, and he doesn't like to get in, um, he thinks he's, he's trying to give me my space, like, he's not trying to be, like, um, like, up my butt about it. You know, he's very supportive. Oh, here we go. They're gonna attack my horse. Oh, it's Shadow Man, though. Shh. He'll be fine. probably make more as a nurse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, unless you're like super famous on here. Yeah, I did. So I just do it for that's why I just do it for fun. God damn it. Oh, come on.
go that way. Pro building stuffs to be honest, don't envy him. I had to each their own. Um I think program is I mean I can't do it. Um I think it just depends on what you're doing. I've seen the awesome stuff that he's been able to create. Um, like I said, I wouldn't be able to do it. I've tried. It's not my thing. Um, uh, but yeah, he's really good at it. But yeah, definitely not for me. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can, you stupid she devil. <laughs> you stupid she devil. Helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. <laughs> and she's not wrong. <laughs> She's like, embrace my old haggity body. I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid. Oh, here we go. Here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. She's here? By Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go. Nazir told me what happened in solitude. You poor dear. You've been through so Burn much. corpses. Where is she? Oh, where am I going? Yeesh. <coughs> Lord, shh. <coughs> Please. <coughs> there is much I have to say. Yeah, she does look like that. Time. I thought that too. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, I said this. I was such a fool. Uh, yes. I just wanted things uh, to stay the way they were. But you're alive. Don't you see? I'm saying you were right. And to prove my... <gasps> you must kill me. Sands, I still can't wrap my head around it. 
her arm, just like, Bleh. There you go. Astrid. Like a satellite. Still. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed Return it. to the night, Hasn't mother. Oh. Burnt corpse. Astrid is dead. It is as it should 35. Be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mead the second must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in White Run. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plan. For you are the listener yeah, yeah. and must find this family together. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. What? Well, what did she say? Amand Motier? You mean there's still a chance? But how? <laughs> All right then. Go. Go, my listener. Ah, but when you're done, listen. When you're finished with this and come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. I was hoping you'd say that. You just worry about fulfilling the contract. <laughs> I'll take care of things on this all. end. Just worry about fulfilling the contract. I'll take care of things on this end. What is it? I... By the gods! You... You're alive! But I had heard... Your sanctuary! Please! You mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead! The true Emperor! I still do! It was Mar... You mean, after all that... Why, this is a... The Emperor is still in... If you can get on board that ship... Kill Titus Mead II and... Well, I don't... It's in the... I suppose you should go to the docks and... Swim? Don't you ha <laughs> yes. I can imagine you'd want to settle that score. Last I heard, he was at the Solitude Docks conducting a number of departure. Not here. Why? Why, why, why? Gotta get out of my way. Oh. 
That is not what I wanted to do. Or that. Oh come on! Crimes against Skyrim and her people. Oh God! I'll say you in your defense. So dumb. Oh, really? Imagine being known for, like, voicing her. People are like, oh, what kind of work do you do? And she's like, oh, I'm a voice actor. And they're like, oh, well, what, what were you in? And she was like, oh, I was that Haggerty Night Mother in Skyrim. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I don't know how she makes her voice sound like that. Like, my voice would hurt. It hurts just hearing it. <laughs> There she is. Ooh, look at those. Carp. Carp. I obtained a carp. And that's the last one. All right, enough of this. You asked how old I was, and uh, I said 35. How old are you, by the way? Three dinner with Oscar. Hmm. Oh, is there shit? No. Three Dunmer. <laughs> I was like, three dinner women? <laughs> three, oh, so we're close in age. That's cool. What do you do for a living?
lieutenant said you could see the smoke from White Run. Yeah, I'm glad we can finally stand down. You own a weed farm. That's cool. Do you sell like, um, is it like medical weed or is it just like just selling it to wherever? Oh, you have your bachelor's in electrical engineering. That didn't pan out. That's all right. Um, one of my close friends is a mechanical engineer. Um, and he programs. Um, but um, at, he was uh, one of our groomsmen at my husband and I's wedding. And um, he used that skill to create a panty cannon for our wedding. Oh, that's cool. Dispensaries. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, please. Well, that's a glitch. <laughs> Cause that... Alright. Right now I'm getting rid of 200 pounds that cur that's currently right next to me and I'm harvesting again. They're already getting rid of 200 pounds that cur that's currently next to me and I'm harvesting again. They're already cut and just drying. It'll be another 300 pounds. So that is a lot of weed. Wow. Yeah, I I don't know anything about um growing weed or anything like that. <laughs> That that sounds um that sounds really interesting though. Is weed like a hard plant to grow or is it does it do well in like um or is it like really picky about like its environment or can it really f um flourish pretty well in any environment? <laughs>
Blup. Be good wherever, but certain strains always require different things. Cool. <sighs> to make the flowers nice and large, it takes different things. I'm terrible at keeping plants alive, so, um,. Yeah, I'm glad that was never my calling, because uh, I can't even keep a cactus alive. I thought there was a chest up here, I guess. Once more, I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told him you can't stop the Dark Brother. Ooh, right in the face. Look at that. Woohoo! Ooh, right in the nose. I didn't even let him finish saying his speech. <laughs> I was just like, you dead?
catch a sailor. Oop, I'm drowning. going to move out of the USA. I have to sell my house and stuff. Really everything I'm done is lost and I'm particularly happy. I don't blame you. Where you want to move? Where are you thinking of moving? Come quietly or taste the yards just See if I can make this shot. Oh, hell yeah. I didn't know how that was going to go. I've got land in the Philippines and I can build any house I see fit. Cool. That's cool. Well, good luck to you. I mean, I know that's that's a big um, change, but um, yeah, it sounds like that'll be um, a, a good thing for you and why not? Not those bastards. Great. 
It's quite nice. Paradise systems are no joke, but I'd build a home to a student, I think. Yeah, I would expect, yeah, but like you said, prepare for it and it'll be good. That's awesome. some good pieces out here. Well, not a great, but I do. If I wasn't married to Ulfberg, I'd be out of business. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. There was a great battle here at White Rock. It's quite thrilling. Aha! You're back. I know, I know. I received the news not moments ago. Ha <laughs> ha! This is glorious! My friend, you... Ah, uh, but you care little for politics. Your payment. Now please, go. Collect your money. And let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Aha! You're back. My horse. I'll admit, I'm having trouble coming to terms with all of this. I'll just follow his lead. Well, what word of the Emperor? He did. Truly? Could you have, despite... Now, of course, I must ask. Ha! Remarkable. Now, might I offer... Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make also, they have no building code laws or anything. I can make my you personal that, electric plant and, I'll see what I can and do grow plants, have chicken and pigs. To our Times move slower there. The people are kind-hearted even invite you to their house and keep you there for hours just talking the pressure seems just lifted off your shoulders and you can relax that's nice yeah i know it's there's so many places that like do a lot of things better than here um i feel like other places in the world definitely like it is jesus christ are less stressed than us the second lies dead and the dog brotherhood yet lives but our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. Yeah. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. Speak. 
speak with the unemployed laborer at the Frostfruit Inn in Rorikstad. Accept his gold, then kill the target. So begins a contract bound in blood. Yeah, yeah. Delvin Mallory. He's gonna be so upset that his girlfriend is dead. Where? Where are their enemies? Jesus effing Christ. Still have got lots of jobs available. Interested? The Dawn Star Sanctuary. Is that where you lot are holding up? Uh, tell you what, it will cost you a lot. But I could help you out. What exactly are we talking about here? Banners, huh? Try to put you the place up. All right, you got it. I don't want to settle. I like things the way they are. Of course you do. Yeah, that will come in handy. An alchemy station. Maybe a little garden with some choice plants. All right? Consider it done. Tell me what you need. Uh -huh. Now, that's the dark brotherhood I know and love. This for business or pleasure. No one was it matter. Right. I'll see that it gets done. Still have quite a good. All right. What's your fan? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I'm thinking a sewer grate on the outskirts of Dawnstar leads to a tunnel dead inside. You'll be in or out, quick as a coney. Looking for wood? Of course you do. <laughs> Chamber fit for a king and all that. Right, no problem. Give you a big bed, decorate a room real nice. Maybe even throw in a few extra baubles. Need some gold. I'm afraid that's it, my friend. I've done all I can. I hope the place is at least livable now. And uh, good luck with your murders. Looking for work. Find me if you're ever. If you need marksmen, I'll show you what I know. If you ever need more practice with the bro Banners! All looks better.
like it here. We sh it's as rewarding as it is dangerous. Let's see what I can show you. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Until next time, sister. How may I serve you, my listener? Just say the word, mistress. <laughs> what are my plans for the future? Um, so, um, that's a good question. I have a two and a half year old son with my husband. And basically my plan is to, we're trying to have another baby right now. Um, and then after we have our second child, we'll be done. Um, we've talked about it and we're like yeah two's good two is enough um and uh i have my bachelor's but my ultimate goal is i'm going to be applying to um a bunch of schools next year or like close it depends on what school um they have different deadlines but next year um applying to schools so that I can go back to school and get my DNP, which stands for Doctorate of Nurse Practitioner. Um, and that's about three years, takes around three years. Um, and so that's my next step. And then, um, yeah, just our house. Um, 
building onto our house. We can ha make our house change a couple things, make our living room area bigger, and um, just yeah, that's pretty much it. Like just we want to travel and stuff, and um, we still take time out to go on like trips and stuff like that. So um, we definitely uh, do that. So just yeah, in the future traveling, um, and all that that good stuff. Just a scratch. <laughs> right in the face, all in the face. <laughs> So yeah, that's my... Why is this like just a dead end here? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so that's my plan for the future and what we've talked about in our future. Um, what do you need, so yeah, it'll... that's pretty much what our plan is. Obviously saving up to, like f uh, in the future for our retirement. And all that good stuff, too. Um, of course, there's a fucking dragon. Oh, not these hoe bags again. God damn it. Oh, good. Yeah, take care of them, guard. <laughs> oh, my effing god. Oh shit balls. Bitch run. Freaking vampires chasing me. This dumb shit. Are you in a cheap part of the country to retire in? Um, we live in Connecticut. Um, so it's not terrible, and if we play our cards right. Um, it's all. It'll also depend on like 
what our future holds, like where our kids will end up being and stuff like that. You know, we might think we're going to retire here, but, you know, if our kids move out of state or move somewhere else, then we might retire closer to where they live. Um, so, it just depends. I think we're just obviously not set in stone on anything until that time comes. So, we got some time for that. Dragon. God damn it. The hell? Ooh, I'll take that shield. Dragon is glitching out. <laughs> the F. <laughs> Reindeer isn't even phased. Like, eh, whatever. Better than Kelly. <laughs> yeah. Or New York. New York's so expensive. Where the fuck is this dragon going? God damn. This is so annoying. God damn it, you dumb bitch. Ooh, almost died. Anywho. I travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? If you're looking to get a drink, Candle Nurse Hall's got warm fires and strong ale.
lonely, Gail. It's always a pleasure to see you. In fact, I'm glad you're here. There's something Oops. I'd like to ask you. Finest weapons and armor. Proposition for any sale. Speak quickly. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that. I don't think I need it. Oh, why am I still using this fucking... I have a... I have an ebony bow now. Alright, let's get rid of that. You need any. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. My parents are always taking me on trips to see the world. If you can get perspective on life, you'll find a lot of things you cared about become meaningless. It's worth to see everyone wasting their life. Most of your life is work and sleep. Is this really what you want? I ask myself that these past couple of years. Yeah, I understand that. I agree that you have to have a good balance and you can't just be all work. Like, you can't be a workaholic. Um... And I think part of the U.S.'s problem is that we are workaholics. Um, but I do feel like if we ever w didn't like the life we were living, that we would make that decision and, and move or change our careers or whatever. I mean, I have to. I I like what I do. I like who I work for right now. Um, right now, I wouldn't change anything. Uh, but I feel like if I didn't like what I was doing, I definitely would change it. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't like when people are just over-consumed about work and not, like, taking their time to, like, have experiences and live their life and travel. I mean, some people, it's not for them. Not everybody wants to travel and do that stuff. Some people are very, like homebody types and just enjoy their life being at home or just doing stuff in their area um it's not for everybody um i personally like traveling um, um and definitely something on my list of things to do but 
yeah um I've talked about um, traveling to using what I do for a living. Um, there's a doctor I work with who has done, um, who's traveled to other countries to do healthcare, and that's something I've always wanted to do. Um, kind of like Doctors Without Borders, but not exactly that corporation, um, but similar to that, where you. Doctors and nurses volunteer their time and go to other countries and administer vaccines or perform surgeries and and st stuff like that. That's something I've always wanted to do. Um, and so, uh, yeah, she just said that Good to see you. if she decides Finally, to do that, um, I would. I told her I would love to do that too because oh, I've always wanted to do that. So, um, yeah, I, I I do think people work in the US way too much and that is there's not there's too much work like stuff with workaholics and not enough time to travel and other things I think like in other countries they have it set up way better um, I remember when I was on vacation with my husband and there were people from like the UK where we were staying at a resort and they were like oh yeah we're on vacation for a month we're on a holiday for a month, and, like, you just don't get that, like, a, a whole month to take off. Like, it, the only time I had that is when I was on maternity leave. <laughs> and uh, they get full-covered maternity leave as well, which is crazy. And it's just, there's a lot of stuff that could be fixed here, and it's just... So, um, so far, right now, I, like, we, you know, we like what we're doing and where we're living and how it's going. And I know if we didn't, we would change that, so I'm not really uh, too worried about what our future holds, because I know we are the type of people that will change it, our course, if we don't like it, so. I'm not judging anyone, but most just get stuck in a loop and never make a change because they may fear it. Oh, yeah, I absolutely agree with that. I agree with that 100%. Um, people get so set in their ways that they're afraid to try something new, or if they're unhappy, they're like, well, it's better than this, or they just make excuses, so I absolutely agree with that. Um, fear is definitely a contributor to why people don't try things or do things, and absolutely which is crazy because you only have one, one life and you gotta live it <laughs> otherwise it's pointless
Hey, I had some. Where did I drop that weapon? Off here. Oh yeah, I gotta add my other uh, shield to my collection. There we go. I'm just gonna stick the staff down here because they're just, they should have a chest down here. I wish they had that. It doesn't watch to the bit. <laughs> God damn it. Are you sending your kid to school? USA doesn't have a good reputation for keeping children safe. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not homeschooling my kid. Um, it's one of those things, like, my husband and I have talked about that. Like, um, he's in daycare right now to get socialization with other kids and stuff like that. And no, schools are not safe when you consider how many school shootings there have been. Um, but at the same time, it's like, you know, it kind of like is what it is for right now. And yeah, I'm not happy about it, but my only other option is to homeschool him. And honestly, you don't want, I wouldn't want me homeschooling my kid, <laughs> anybody's kid. Uh, I would just not have the patience for it. Um, it's just one of those things like, that's definitely one of the things that I hate about um, this country um, that needs to be worked out but um, yeah it is it's it is what it is right now and we just have to see where it goes I mean we talked about like would it matter if we put him in private school or something like that but honestly it doesn't it's just if there's going to be, like, just trying, I guess, to just talking to him and being realistic about it when he's older and just being like, this could happen and trying to prepare him as best as that we can for something like that. Um, but, you know, you never really can prepare a kid for that, I guess. Uh, you can't prepare really anybody unless you're in the military and even then, like, people, people aren't even always prepared for the stuff that can happen in war uh, but yeah I don't know there's no easy answer I don't think to that um, I hate it I think there needs to be changes in the country but um, I also think our education system sucks in a lot of ways I think that needs to be fixed and how they treat teachers and just the edu education in general like how things are done but I mean, yeah, it's one of those things like he's two and a half, so he's not in kindergarten yet. So who knows? Maybe by the time he reaches kindergarten, uh, we'll have a different plan or we'll feel differently or, you know, I just don't know. Um, I just don't have the answer for that right now with him and uh, with everything that's going on.
I try to stay optimistic and I'm hoping that maybe something will change by that time. Probably not, but um, we'll see. So I feel like we'll deal with that when it comes time for him to go to school. Um, because I know people who worked the Sandy Hook shooting and I was working for a local hospital that was supposed to receive the victims but um, I was con I was not working that day uh, but I was contacted and said hey be on standby if we need you to come in to work because we were there trying to prepare for the we didn't know what we were ex was gonna happen um, unfortunately there were not hardly any survivors so I did not get called in um, but yeah basically um, yeah so I don't know it's too early for me to make that decision it's a lot For the love of Christ. Yeah, kill him. This, keeps, this house sucks. I hate this location and this is why. Not only shootings, there's numerous stabbings, assaults, including sexual assault of teachers themselves. So we'll be able to do this. That's when I went to a private school when I was in traveling. Yeah, no, I'm aware. Um, my, I have two sisters who are teachers, and that, I mean, you can look at it either way. Like putting, there's kids in daycares that have been assaulted and hurt, and um, it's one of those things like. I can't just kind of keep my kid in a bubble because it might happen to him or whatever. Um, I'm kind of at that point where it's like, um, you know, we're not at that point putting him in school yet, so we're still discussing it of what we want to do, but it's just, you know, not everybody can afford private school, not everyone can do homeschooling. Um, I work, my husband works full time. I just don't know how we would make it work to also homeschool him. Um, it's just, it would be something we would have to sit down and talk about. I mean, I think we, considering all the things, like we're just, you know, he's two and a half. He's not at that point where he's in school school. So again, but um, I think we'll probably put him in public school. 
but like I said before, that can change. Anything can change. I mean, it's just... It, any of... Yeah, any of those things are a risk. Um, when I was in high school, we had a increase in threats for bombings. Um, and it was like, ugh, for whatever reason, it was constant. There was never a bomb, but it was just a massive increase in like bomb threats when I was in school, in high school. Um, but, you know, it, it just is what it is sometimes, and you just do the best you can. And, uh, like I said, unfortunately not everybody can homeschool, not everybody can afford private school, so it's... I think everybody just tries to do the best they can and protect their kids the best way they can. And Unfortunately for some, it doesn't always work that way. Um, but I feel like we are still talking about it and we'll cross that bridge when we get closer to him going into school. So. I was gonna say, I know I had another uh, mannequin in this house. <laughs> Oh, and then, okay. Lost? I live here. I am your sword and your shield. Honored to see you again, my fame. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Very good. I'll make up. Of course. What room? I'm sorry, but you can't afford that right now. Mm-hmm. Storage bug. A lot of Luna moths.
Oopsie. I thought I had a bard. Oh, I was just like, I definitely did. Of course. Anything you like. Yes. Just know your education doesn't even teach you life skills. I think you have access to your memories. Do you really need to learn about this country and all the words and bloodshed? Do you want me in my way? No. Tiff Lindstein. With a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. That's what my parents taught me. I believe, believe the dragon To learn how to think, not what to think. Empirically. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. No, I think that's fine. Um, I think I definitely was taught life skills. Like I was taught how to do like balance, like my checkbook. Well, when people use checkbooks, and I was um, taught about like <laughs> financial stuff. I mean, yeah, there's certain things that you, you know, like life skills are super important, and I think that's on the parent to teach your kid how to make them self sufficient. Um, but I, I don't think, um, public school was ever a waste of time and I don't think college was a waste of time because clearly I'm working. I had to go to college to get my bachelor's to get a degree as a nurse. Like you can't work as a nurse without, um, going to college or medicine in general. Um, there's obviously there are other, um, you know, jobs that don't require you to have that kind of thing where you can it's more about like your talent and and what you've what you can prove that you can show um so yeah i don't think everybody has to go to college i don't think everybody has to do anything like yeah sometimes people feel like school is a waste of their time and that they just want to learn what they want to learn and master their art or whatever um but i don't think school is a waste of time obviously you need to know how to read and write and um, I understand about history like it's not my favorite thing um, I think it's important for people to understand history so that we stop repeating our mistakes um, so in that aspect I think history is really important um, is it something that I I loved in school absolutely not I hated it I hated geography too I found it to be very boring and I hated like writing classes um, but I found science to be extremely interesting and um, obviously math is really important because I have to do math in my job. So I think it's just depends on what you decide to do. And I'm in no means that, like, I do think the education system should be like perfected, but I don't think it's a waste of time. I think, um, and as for, like I said, as for life skills, I think parents need to teach their kids how to be self-sufficient. And I think kids need to know that if they don't want to go to college and they want to do a trade school, that that's fine too. Um, and that it just, you know, finding their own way. But, um, yeah, I think, I think it just depends on how you were raised and where you were raised. Um, and I don't think there's any right answer, honestly, to something like that. Um, I kind of see both sides of it, actually, so it's really to each their own and, and how people want to raise their own kids and what they want to do. So that's how I feel about it. At least, I mean, I can't speak for other people, but, um, if you felt like you benefited from the way you were raised, that's great. Um, it might not work for other people. Um, so, but, um, I see what you're saying. I mean, I understand. Um, and yeah, I think people, um, shouldn't feel the need like they have to go to college or they have to do anything like that like I think you know trade schools are super important and there's like I admire people who you know learn to be carpenters and electricians and plumbers and I could never do that like you don't want me fixing your sink or people who cut hair like hairdressers and stuff like that like I could never cut someone's hair I would fucking butcher people's hair Absolutely. I don't know how people cut hair. <laughs> like all that fancy stuff. I'm like, I don't know. It's just not it's just not where my skill sets are. So, um, I admire anybody who does stuff like that cuz I couldn't. 
You wouldn't want me to do electrical work on your house or plumbing or any of that shit. Because I would totally just fuck it up. <laughs> There's a reason why I came here. Oh, my stupid mannequin's not here. I could just go to one of my regular houses. That would work. I could have just dropped something off here. Did I already drop it off? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. You're home. Oh, that's right. I, I told something. my kids to move here. <laughs> you like it. I was like, who's in my house? <laughs> uh, again. It's, it just, it's relative, I, like I said, it's, your grandfather didn't finish the fourth grade, but he built the bridge. Again, it depends on what field you go into. You can't be in medicine and not have a degree, it's required. Um, I don't know, obviously, what goes into building a bridge. I don't know if at the time your grandfather built it, if they require new stuff now. It's all relative on what field you go into. So, to just to say that education is pointless is untrue. Um, because depending on what your passion is and what you want to do in life, sometimes it is required. Um, and there's nothing wrong with, with focusing on something that doesn't need you to do all that. Um, my husband, um, has his associates and literally that's the, like, he's like, there's no point in me going and getting a higher degree because he knows what he's doing and his work speaks for himself. And in his field, that's they have more leniency with that. Um, I would it would be completely out of my scope of practice. Um, like I couldn't, you know, I'm a nurse. I have a bachelor's. I can't be doing nurse practitioner stuff now because I don't have the credentials to do it. And I don't have the degree. I don't have my master's. I don't have my my doctorate. And um, that's ultimately what I want to do. And so that's what I'll have to go to school to finish and do. Uh, which I'm completely fine with um, because I'm aware of what's required in my field of study and this is the field that I am passionate about and that I'm, you know, if I, and I don't have to do it if I feel like I'm like, you know what, this is too much work, I don't want to do this, I'm happy with what I'm doing, then, you know. Uh, I, I agree that a lot of subjects can be a waste of time, but like I said, it's, relative to I guess who wants to learn what and I guess um, I think having like a just a base of what everybody should know and, and then if people want to go into that field they should have to do more or go into it more but again um, yeah there's certain things I think it could be done better
speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any di Yes. Our order was we're quartered in the hall of the vigilant. Keeper and any other but Daedra are the worst. He is the god of We bring his compassion where none can be found by cleansing all those who would offend his children. Got the other call. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Things can change right um fast for sure.
No, I don't want that fucking shield. Stupid. Whatever. Oh, these guys are all dead. <laughs> so he's the naked guys. They never come back to life. She's partially naked. All right. You're gonna get crushed.
puzzle. A uh, snake wheel bird. There we I'm sorry if a boring conversation because my interests are largely technological systems. I think it's supposed to make plants grow faster. There's something coming to the kill and know how to do. Thinking about making devices to sell the public. That would be a great idea. You should do that. I mean, I don't think it's boring conversation skills. I think it's just really deep conversations. I think it's just really deep s stuff you bring up. That's all. Um, I don't think it's bad. I just think it's... Um, I think it's just a lot for um, some people, but I get it. Like, I completely understand, like, what you mean when you're, you know, talking about it and stuff. And who knows? Like, you could invent, like, you could come up with something that would be helpful for people to, like, have better plant growing skills in their house. Hell, maybe I would if you had came up with something I wouldn't kill so many regular plants. <laughs> out on me. Oh, okay. <laughs>
You are an educated person. I cannot talk to normal people. That the reason I keep to myself. I really don't talk a lot. This is the first time I've actually talked to someone in a while. Well, I th I think it's yeah. I, I mean, I understand what you're saying. Like some people struggle with understanding where other people come from. I just try to stay open-minded. I don't like I'm I'm educated on certain things. I definitely know I f fall short on educating. Like being educated in other areas, I could definitely be. Um, more educated I guess you could say um, um, I just I think one of my things is I try to see the perspective from all angles but um, and I don't know um, I just try to s my best to see things from other people's point of view um, and see where they're coming from and yeah that's pretty much what I try to do. Um, my husband's like that, and um, he's taught me how to um, be like that. So, um, but no, I think um, I think it's hard to talk to people about certain things, especially people who are very set in their ways or um, have strong opinions about stuff. Uh, it can be super difficult, and. Um, Sometimes it can be super boring, or, like, it just depends. Oh, great. Just depends, I think, on the people. Um, okay, there's a lot of crypts opening. It's, I think the thing is, too, it's just hard to connect with. Um, sometimes it's hard just to connect with other people with like-minded interests and... Um, I think uh, technology helps people reach other like-minded people and people can connect better. Like, like this platform, obviously. I don't think I would have, obviously, talking to talked to people in Australia <laughs> or the UK if it wasn't for this platform. So I think stuff like that is um, helpful. the guys are dead in here. Good, I'm glad I didn't waste my time trying to kill all of them. <laughs> Just had to deal with the one dude. Are you did what? That was the tiniest little bottle. <laughs>
Nope, that's what I wanted to do. What am I doing? Weapons and armor. Mm -hmm. oh, I was supposed to put that in my house. But all right. Mm -hmm. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade. If you look, trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. That sort of thing. Be sure to stop by Sadra's used way. I have a hard time relating to people. I cannot become friends with people who are like NPCs. They don't do anything. I have no thoughts. Just party and I had a friend. She would go on and on about guys and relationships. Who's dating who? I just don't care. If you have a magical way that makes people tolerable, I'd like to hear it. <laughs> I get that. Um, yeah, it's it's hard to create functional relationships with certain people. Um, Got something for I just, everybody in I'm, here. Give a holler if you have any questions. I mean, um, I've, I'm fortunate that I, I, I guess it's the, the best thing is trying to surround yourself with like minded people, which can be hard. And to do that, you have to interact with people. And sometimes the people you interact with are not the best. And, You don't know until you interact with somebody um, that they're going to be All my like relatable to. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. And if you keep running into people that you don't relate to, then you just get discouraged and then you just stop talking to people, which isn't necessarily a good thing either. But it's hard. Um, and the more we, the longer, the older we get, the more set in our ways we get. So. As individuals so it can get harder as we age people are less likely to compromise on things or see things from other perspectives so it can be a challenge do come again Some that say the Dark Brotherhood is back. Stronger than ever. Goodness. That's where I'm at. I haven't found anyone relatable. Yeah, that's hard. It's it's tough to find people that get you and you get them or um yeah it's <laughs> I'm fortunate that um, I met my husband and he's awesome and we relate to each other and he understands me as a person and I understand him and it also is great that we have 
like his friends are people I actually like and hang like to hang out with and associate myself to um, and vice versa like I have a lot of friends that he knows and um, is really like relates to and um, oh floating floating flowers that's nice and that kind of thing Every time I come here, it's going to keep falling off the rack, and I'm going to just keep putting it back. <laughs> Even though I know it's pointless. <laughs> um, Imperial shield. Probably should have put that where my Imperial stuff was. That probably would have been smart. Oh, the Ebony shield I guess to get for my... I think these guys can hold shields. Yeah. Perfect. No! I already killed this dragon. Why is he coming back? Fuck. I don't want to deal with this troll dragon. God. Alright. Okay. Well, uh, okay. I'm just gonna drop off some of the ingredients at least. I think I'm gonna save. I've been on for two hours and twenty minutes. Don't give that up. I feel like a senile man who just stays inside and waters my garden. <laughs> well, it's it's hard when you like some people, but if it makes you happy, like it doesn't make you happy. Or do you wish you like? had more people that you could relate to and like have more relationships with um and it's hard it's hard to put yourself out there and and meet people and like it, it's it's just difficult it's not the easiest thing to do and finding like-minded people is definitely hard and then you like have to deal with sometimes where like you have friends that you're with or people that you like and maybe they're friends with somebody that that are just like a hot mess and you're like oh my god I don't know how they function um or toxic people just oof, don't even waste your time with that 
I think as I've gotten older, I've definitely set more boundaries and have gotten rid of toxic people in my life where I'm just like, I don't have time for that. Uh, and just move on. But yeah, it's no easy feat to just start becoming social. Or like, or putting yourself out there. Uh, and meeting people, it can be a challenge. And the less you do it, the more of a hermit, or like, the more secluded you'll become. Of course, I like friends. Yeah. You're heading off, so thank you for streaming and talking to me. Oh, yeah. I was like, well, I'm, I'm running back forth in my house, and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's, I've been on for a while, so I think I'll call it a night. It's um, getting late um, where I am. So, but no, I appreciate the conversation. I understand um, what you mean and where you're coming from to a point. Obviously, I'm not in your shoes completely, but I understand how it's hard to meet people and, and all that stuff. And um, It definitely doesn't get easier as you get older. Um, but, um, yeah, this was a good... Uh, thanks for the visiting me while I streamed and the ch chat and all that good stuff. Um, I hope you have a, a good night or whatever time it is. I don't remember what the how many hours California is behind or ahead or behind Connecticut see I don't care so I don't know <laughs> um, but yeah so I hope you have a good night and I um, hopefully I'll see you again on when I come on my stream I might be on tomorrow I'm usually on after anytime after nine so um, yeah I hope you have a great night and um, good luck with um, your endeavors, <laughs> your plant growing, because um, I can't grow plants for shit. So, um, all right. Well, I hope everything goes well and you have a good night. And I will be back on tomorrow, hopefully around this time, around nine o'clock. So, um, yep. Yeah. So until then, I hope everyone has a good night. Thanks for joining my stream. Thanks for chatting. I always appreciate a good chat while I play and uh, I will see everybody again tomorrow night when if they're on so I'll see you later